love Pride, and I think it's so important to celebrate everybody's sexual freedom, particularly, you know, um, we're very lucky in this country for that. I just think it's been an amazing opportunity just to get out there and support the LGBT community um, and to get a chance to do it on the Coronation Street float. A lot of my friends are gay, so it means a lot to me, um, Gay Pride. I've always wanted to do it. I've been to the Gran Canaria one, and I've never had a chance to do it in Manchester, so I can't wait. I am a little tiny bit too young to have some proper memories of the 80s, but I did a bit of research, and as well as neon colours and all of that, Rubik's Cubes were big in the 80s, so I am going to be wearing a Rubik's Cube dress, Rubik's Cube hat, Rubik's Cube bag, sat on a Rubik's Cube. I love Wham, I love Madonna, I love Duran Duran. I had odd neon socks. Terry Town in neon socks yeah. and the shoulder pads. And I love all the high waisted like things like shorts and stuff and the bum bags. I just love it. <laughs> what was your favourite thing about the 80s? About, I've, I've always said that there's no two words better suited than Manchester and Pride. And um, we're lucky that we come from a, a place where we're allowed to be ourselves and have liberty and freedom. And at the moment there are places in the world like Russia where people don't have this liberty. And I'm here personally to try and bring neon and sweatbands back, which I think are making a very good job. Thank you so much to Velvet and Blackboard Ballroom for sponsoring our float. It means so much that Coronation Street can again be part of the Pride, so 